Hey boys, it's Harm None. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make millions of dollars with the Acid Lab by yourself or as a solo player in Grand Theft Auto Online. This business was added with the addition of the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC into GTA Online that just dropped the other day, Tuesday, December 13th. This is actually one of the better businesses in Grand Theft Auto Online already, and it's only been out for a few short days, and I'm sure we have yet to learn every single thing there is to know about it. But regardless of that, it is still an absolutely fantastic business, and it's one that's really, really easy for newer players to get into. Now, before we get into this video, I'm not really gonna be going that in depth on how to unlock the Acid Lab. I actually have a video that I'm gonna link in the description and in the pinned comment. If you guys wanna learn how to get your Acid Lab set up in the first place, you're gonna to need to watch this video. I'm gonna to briefly touch on everything in this one, but if you want the full in-depth guide, go watch that video and then come back to this one once you've actually got the Acid Lab set up and running. So let's get started. To unlock the Acid Lab, you're gonna to have to do several different things, which are a little bit tedious, but totally worth it in the end. You're gonna receive a phone call from Ron asking you for help as soon as you probably come into Grand Theft Auto Online for the first time. You're then gonna go up to this R that's on your map. It's outside of Ace Liquor, which is Trevor's old business. And this is where your missions will begin. You're gonna complete this mission and then you're gonna to head to the D lower down on the map, uh, kind of underneath the highway, close to the casino. And there's going to be five more missions that you're going to have to run through DAX. All of them are launched from this same location that you guys are seeing right here. Now, in the final mission, you're going to steal a brigade from a crashed train that's heading out of Humane Labs. And then you're going to drive this brigade back to the Freak Show, which is uh, the building that the DAX missions are started just outside of. Now, once you deliver the brigade back, you're going to be done with the missions. However, what you're going to have to do from then on is go and do the setup mission. Now, there's going to be three locations that are going to pop up on your map. You guys can see right here. Just go to one of these, any one will do. Whichever one's closest is probably best. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna have to kill some guards, and then you're gonna have to load up this truck with a forklift. It's kind of a cool mission, something a little bit different for GTA. So yeah, you're gonna load up the truck with these supplies, and then you're gonna head back to the freak shop. Now, once you get back to the freak shop, you're gonna see that there's a vehicle workshop icon on the inside, and this is where you're gonna be able to buy the Acid Lab business for $750,000. Now I wanna say this before we get any further into the video, this is kind of what I mean by this business is pretty friendly to newer players in Grand Theft Auto Online. By the time you do these six missions, you're gonna have almost 750K that's been paid to you just for doing the six missions. Because in addition to this, when you go to upgrade the Brigade 6x6, as well as the delivery bike, in this vehicle workshop, you will notice on the brigade, you have some extra upgrades here, and one of them is called the equipment upgrade. Now the equipment upgrade is going to cost you $250,000, but in order to unlock it, you're gonna have to do 10 of these DAX Fooligan missions. Now how you're gonna start these is by calling DAX on your phone and by requesting work. Now the problem with these that is going to make this a little bit tedious and a little bit annoying is these missions can be done once every in-game day in Grand Theft Auto Online. Meaning that these are probably gonna take you somewhere in the neighborhood of eight hours of like constant playing to get them all done. But of course you can do one and then hop off for the day and then come back the next day. You can do it however you want. You can break it up however you want. At the time of recording this video, these are currently double money. So long as you do them 100% correctly and for completing these DAX Fooligan missions, you will receive $100,000. However, at normal times, if you guys are watching this months in the future, weeks in the future, these missions are probably only gonna be paying their normal amount, which is $50,000. However, if you consider doing these 10 missions, even at the $50,000 mark, they're still gonna pay you $500,000, which is half the price of the Acid Lab plus the equipment upgrade that you're gonna unlock once you actually complete these missions. And then from there on, you can make your money back really, really easily with the Acid Lab. So anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how much money the Acid Lab actually makes when it's unupgraded versus when you have the equipment upgrade unlocked. And let me just tell you before we even get into it, you guys are gonna to wanna to make sure you get that equipment upgrade unlocked as soon as possible and then purchase it as soon as you possibly can as well because it is going to make your lives a lot easier. So to start off with, the unupgraded Acid Lab is going to take you six hours to fill completely and it's gonna take 3.2 resupplies. So it's gonna take 16 of the little bars of supplies in order to get this thing all the way maxed out. Off of a $60,000 resupply, if you purchase supplies, you're only gonna make $74,250, which is only a $14,250 profit 
on your 60K investment, which is not very good. Uh, you're basically making like about a quarter of what you put into it as profit, which that's not super, super good. And in order for it to make that one purchase of supplies into the asset that's worth $74,250, it's gonna take one hour and 50 minutes, which is not very good. And if you fill it all the way up, it's gonna be worth a grand total of $237,600. But if you purchase all of the supplies you're gonna need, that is going to equate to $192,000 worth of supplies, meaning that you're not gonna make very much profit, only $45,600 over the course of six hours, which is pretty bad. So this means definitely don't even consider buying the supplies for this business. Yes, you make profit, but it's really just not worth your time. If you're going to be running this business while it is unupgraded without the equipment upgrade, you're gonna to wanna to consider stealing supplies. The stealing supply missions are kind of annoying, but they're also not that horrible. Something that you can actually do in order to get your supplies delivered back to the brigade faster is just request your brigade to be closer to you. And then wherever it spawns in, you just take the supplies right to it. It'll be a lot closer than flying all the way across the map and dropping off your supplies at your brigade when you can just call your brigade to somewhere that's pretty close to you. Bring the supplies right back to the brigade and then launch another mission to resupply as well. Uh, they're gonna be kind of annoying regardless, so I'm just gonna buy supplies. I was buying supplies even when this thing was not upgraded at all. However, once you upgrade this business fully with the equipment upgrade, the business will only take eight bars of supplies in order to make the maximum amount of stock, uh, which then you can sell. The equipment upgrade also increases the overall value of the asset that you're selling, and it reduces the time from six hours to only four hours to max out the business, which is pretty damn good. The product at the end of this is gonna be worth $335,200, which is almost $100,000 more than when the business is unupgraded with the equipment, and it also is gonna be done a lot faster. And to make this $335,000 in stock, it's only gonna take you $96,000 worth of supplies, which is pretty damn good. So with the equipment upgrade, you're going to make $239,000 profit over the course of four hours. Without the equipment upgrade, you're going to make $45,600 over the course of six hours. So the equipment upgrade is pretty essential with this business. If you don't have the equipment upgrade, it's basically not even really worth running the business, unfortunately. Now, there is one more thing that I have to mention about the actual business itself within it. Once every day in real life or every 24 hours, you are able to boost the production speed for half an hour. Simply, you come up to this thing right here and you interact with it and your character's gonna do some uh, magical acid creation there. And then your production is gonna be doubled for half an hour. So you're gonna get an hour's worth of production done in only half an hour, which is pretty good. Uh, you do like to see that, obviously. It is pretty cool that they added this in as well. So once you've produced a full stock of acid, you can launch your sale mission. Now the sale missions with this business are all done with the delivery bike, which I mentioned a little bit earlier as an upgradable vehicle. The delivery bike and the Brigade 6x6 are both fully upgradable. The delivery bike is actually an awesome sale vehicle. This thing has an infinite wheelie. It's very, very fast. And it's also quite maneuverable when you're wheeling as well. So you can actually turn this thing while doing a full wheelie so you get the most speed possible. Now when you sell with a full stock, most often you're probably gonna get 10 drop-offs. Um, I haven't personally had less than 10 drop-offs. However, I'm sure that there might be a chance of getting maybe only five or maybe only one. Not 100% sure on this, but usually you're gonna get 10 drop-offs. And you get 20 minutes for each of these sale missions, which is a pretty good amount of time. And I gotta also say, you can sell in public lobbies or in invite-only sessions. So whatever you are more into doing, uh, obviously do that. However, selling in public sessions, you can get a pretty significant amount of money as a bonus for selling. And the cool thing about this business is you can run it as either an MC or a CEO. So if you guys wanna activate Ghost Org while you're doing your sale mission, you can use the CEO. If you want to be able to spawn in like a Mark II or something to defend yourself if somebody comes after you, you can register yourself as an MC as well. Uh, obviously with the CEO, you can also spawn in the Buzzard if you need to defend yourself or anything like that. So it's pretty awesome that uh, we are actually able to do this. And there's one more thing that I got to say about the sail missions that is kind of interesting that I haven't seen anybody else really talk about. You can take the 6x6 out of the Freak Show and park it anywhere on the map. And when you launch your sail mission, you will launch it from the Brigade 6x6. Now, don't worry about selling in a public session or having your Brigade out in public. Even if somebody destroys it, you're going to retain your stock. So don't worry about that at all. That does not matter. Now, why this is actually useful, for example, you could park your Brigade 6x6 on the top 
top of the Hollywood Hill or the Vinewood Hill, whatever you want to call it, so that you have a very central location as to where your drop offs are. Typically, these drop offs are in Blaine County or a little bit closer into Blaine County or at the top end of the city right before you start going up the hill. So if you park in the middle of the map, you're gonna launch your sail from there, which means that you're gonna be a little bit closer to all the drop-offs. For example, I did my first sail from the docks in Los Santos, which I know maybe not the most genius idea ever, but I had to go really, really far because not only did I have to come up from the docks, but I also had to go way up into the top of the city and the surrounding areas. However, you can also sail from in the middle of the city, for example, and get drop-offs that are a little bit closer with that. So I think this is kind of an underrated feature with the Brocade 6x6 and with having the Acid Lab as a mobile business, you don't have to sell from one particular location every time. You can move this thing right into the middle of the map, so no matter what, you're gonna be closer to your sale mission delivery targets. So I think that this is definitely worth mentioning and I hope that this serves as a useful tip to you guys. Overall, I think that this business is a great addition to Grand Theft Auto Online, especially for solo players. The missions to get it are quite annoying. However, they are very friendly to newer players in Grand Theft Auto Online because it's not gonna cost you a whole lot of money to get this business up and running. And once you have this business up and running, you're gonna be making money hand over fist, which is gonna allow you to buy all of the older businesses a little bit easier. So as much as the setup is really annoying, it is good for newer players. I know for veteran players, it's just kind of a pain. We don't really wanna do this stuff, but for the Acid Lab, I say it is completely worth it. This business is highly profitable and it does not take that long to make the money in. So anyway, guys, that is my full Acid Lab money guide in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace.